Hi, this is Warren Reisenden from Trades Unlimited, host of House Talk, heard on News Talk 960 KKNT every Saturday from 10 until noon. This video shows what we call a tile r and &R, and that means remove the tile, set it aside, replace the underlayment, and reset that tile. By no means does this video cover everything to do with a tile roof, but it does show a fair amount of the basics, and we hope that you'll find it informative. This particular roof has flat concrete tile on it which are held in place by the batten strips that you see underneath the tile. The guys are removing all the tile and batten strips and leaving the existing underlayment in place. Notice how we have an improper edge detail here with the bird stop or eave edge metal here. The way that it was put on, it allowed the water to run right underneath it and that has run into the fascia boards which causes those fascia boards to leak. Also, see how the existing roof jacks are removed at this time. Now, all the flashing details need to be reworked. These are very critical areas and areas that absolutely will leak if they're not treated properly. The method he's using here with mastic and webbing is called three coursing. This helps create a nice tight area here and now the new underlayment is laid out on top of it with the underlayment extending up the wall and now he's got he's going to go ahead and put the metal along this wall. This particular metal is called J-Pan and proper installation of the J-Pan counter flashing is absolutely essential for leak free performance. We can see here the first strip of underlayment at the eave edge is one half the normal width. The reason that's done is because if you notice now the full width of underlayment is laid on top of that and all the other ones are lapped halfway down over the one that's that was just laid. The reason for that is is that now you the underlayment would actually have to rip halfway up in order to create an area where water could get underneath that underlayment. So double layer of underlayment lapped this way really does create kind of a fair amount of insurance for underlayment underneath your tile, folks, because the normal lap on underlayment is three inches. Now you have 18. Hey, 18 inches is a lot better than three inches in my book. Here we have an example of how penetrations are detailed and how they must be detailed for leak-free performance. First, the jack's installed at the underlayment level underneath the tile. And then here is a shot of the roof area finished with a lead jack on top of that. And that laps under the tile above it and over the tile below to help keep as much of that water on top of the tile as possible. Remember that eave detail we were talking about that was improperly installed? Now you can see how it should be installed right here. Bear with us a bit as the guys are doing some of this a bit backwards for this video so that we can all see it. Okay, now the eave metal's attached and see how that underlayment laps on top of the metal. That's how it's supposed to be. With that underlayment lapped over the top of the metal, we're not going to be getting any water that goes underneath that down into the fascia anymore and rotting out the fascia, are we? Once that underlayment's installed, now let's get those batten strips down. It looks like the guys left a valley detail out of normal sequence again so that we get to see how it's supposed to be done. Notice how there's a vertical bleeder strip underneath the valley metal and then how all the other underlayment comes and meets it from the sides and laps over the top of that. The boards you see here are put there to hold the hip and ridge tiles. Notice how the underlayment completely covers the roof underneath the hip and ridge boards and so on. The metal that you see behind this chimney is called saddle metal. As you can see, laying the tile itself that just might be the easy part of the job. All the details before that tile set determines whether your roof leaks or not. While we absolutely were not able to cover all the details of proper tile installation in this video, I hope it helps you better understand some basics of what makes a tile roof work. Talk to your Trades Unlimited representative about different grades of underlayment, ventilation, and all the other details of your tile roof. Thanks very much for watching this, and if you have any other questions, give us a call at Trades Unlimited at 480-483-1775. 
And remember, at Trades Unlimited, we also do kitchen and bath remodeling and window replacements. And hey, if you get a chance, tune into House Talk this Saturday from 10 till noon on News Talk 960 KKNT for the next edition of Home Repair on the Air. We'll see you then, folks. Make it a great day.